Hi there, Jolie Baptist here from the UK, from England, and I wish to share with you some thoughts about revelation and religion. Now some people believe that all religions are of equal value and they're of equal worth. And I want to put the case today for the fact that we should not look to religions, or religion meaning people's beliefs, contrived beliefs that man has held to be dear, that we not, should not put our trust or our confidence in what people feel is import, just important, but we should look for what God has revealed. Revelation rather than religion. Now, I've had arguments about this. Some people say, oh yes, we've got to have a religion, of the old-time religion. I'm not necessarily knocking that. What I am knocking is the human, contrived, artificial beliefs that people have put forward. So often they want to confirm their own prejudices rather than look for truth, to seek truth. And if we look for truth, we will find it in the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way, the life and the truth. And people also say that we should treat all cultures with respect. And all cultures? Think about that. Do we endorse all cultures of value, of significance? And if that were the case, if had that been the case, we would say that Nazi culture is valid. Cultures and religions that have human sacrifice, that have the occult, that do evil things. Slavery. Some cultures are based on slavery and things like that. People even say that we should have majority rule. That should be the, the best way for culture, sort of that sort of democracy. But that can be extremely dangerous. Because if we had 80% of the population saying that the 20% can be killed, maimed, tortured, just on the majority rule, is that really acceptable? Is that truth? Truth is revealed in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So today I'm making the case not for religions, for what people think are important, their own beliefs, their precious faith that might be very precious to them, but I want them to look behind that and ask themselves, is it the truth? Is it true? And does it produce the fruits of truth that comes through the Lord Jesus Christ? Faith working through love. Because many religions, even, I would say, sub-Christian religions, with a veneer of Christianity, they haven't produced the fruits of the Lord Jesus Christ, the true work of the gospel, which is to liberate people and to bring them to life eternal. And one thing is important, that if we understand revelation, that is repentance. That men and women need to repent. That isn't merely saying, I'm sorry, and you have regrets. People may even shed tears, tears of sorrow. But repentance is more than that. It's godly sorrow. It is responding to the convicting work of the Holy Spirit. And through repentance, we are willing and enabled to turn our back on sin and sinfulness, which people don't want to consider. People seem to be reluctant to accept that they, that they are sinners and have fallen short of the glory of God. That when we accept the holiness and understand the holiness and the righteousness of God, we must respond in repentance if we are to know the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit, to allow the Holy Spirit of God to regenerate us, to bring us to new birth, and to new life, so that we have a new way, a new life, and truth in the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the way, as I said, the truth and the life. That we need to understand the revealed word of God, what God has revealed in his word, and has spoken to us through the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, there is this view that somehow people believe that God is like an English gentleman, and doesn't interfere with people's lives. God does interfere. God does work in our lives. He interfered with the life of Paul on the way to Damascus. And he interfered with people's lives when he brings them to conversion. When they are able to see their sinfulness and the need for repentance. God can work in their lives and bring them to their knees or to that position where they must respond. Where they want to respond to the love of God. 
and to be open to the regenerating work of the Holy Spirit. So today I want you to think about these three words. Revelation, repentance and regeneration. The regenerating work of the Holy Spirit bringing us new life. To be born again, to be born again of God's Holy Spirit. And then we can know God's wonderful way of liberty and life eternal. Life abundant and eternal in the Lord Jesus Christ who has revealed the salvation that God has shown us so wonderfully by his amazing grace. God bless you.